Welcome everybody. Got all those bugs out of the way for you. At least as many as I could. We're leaving Edmonton. We have one more crate left on my truck. One more delivery. And I've got to bring it to High Prairie, Alberta, which is four hours from here or so. And I'm not going to make it there before they close today, so we're going to deliver first thing in the morning, and I was told to wait there for direction after I'm empty. No idea where we're going from there yet. But we got three deliveries done today. And running around like a chicken with his head cut off trying to get it all done. Just didn't quite have enough have enough daytime to get it. Look at this guy's load in the back of his truck. Dude, you're going to lose that. <laughs> I don't really want to be behind this guy. You're going to lose those boxes. But anyway, yeah, so uh, we got to go a little ways west of the city and we sort of take the route that you would take towards Grand Prairie. And uh, we'll go through White Court and then stop there for a shower. Well, what's this guy want to do? You're going to cut in front of me, aren't you? No, he doesn't want to do that because his Dodge is in the way here. He would have if that Dodge wouldn't have been there. Oh, he's doing it anyway. Nice truck, though. Silverado High Country. That is a classy truck. And that's a minivan. So I've got to admit, I'm done with the bugs, all the guts. They were fun at the beginning, you know. Made me feel all excited for summer now now i'm sick of them they can stop just covering i just cleaned this windshield not even half an hour ago and it's not even dusk yet but it is what it is so there's a lot of campers flying around here we're in uh we're taking a shortcut on highway 33 we're not actually going through white court uh, this will get us there a little bit quicker and uh that'll be that save some time, save some miles, and get to see the scenic route a little bit. Same speed limit, I mean, it's just shorter. And uh, it's a two-lane highway instead of a four-lane highway. So. But other than that, I mean, I don't know what they're gonna get me to do tomorrow. I thought for sure they'd have a plan by now, but uh, no, maybe they, maybe they do have a plan. It's just not like completely in stone yet. So they don't wanna, you know, reveal the big plan to me yet until they know for sure i don't know i don't know what goes on back there all i know is whatever comes through to my computer right there it goes ding you have a new message and then i have a new message that's 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 an oversimplified way of how i get my instructions they'll tell me they'll give me an address on a place to go pick up a load i'll go pick up the load and they'll give me an address of where to bring it so i'll bring it there I have a message sent down from the gods. Well, actually not sent down, sent this way from over there. Sent, I guess, I'm west of them. Sent west from the load gods, small g. We're going to Mississippi. I've just got to drop off this one crate. Uh, oh, another message from them. One second. Okay, so. Uh, I'm here in... I know, I'm pog... Whoa, calm down. Calm down, they like me. Uh, uh, so we're in High Prairie, Alberta. Uh, we still haven't delivered. This is the next morning. I'm gonna quickly drop off this crate. I have my whole trailer uh, cleaned up and ready. I have their crate right at the back of the trailer ready for them. They're just light little crates I can push to the back. Like, they're secured in the trailer. And then when uh, I get there, I just I just push them right to the back at the tail so they can just quickly grab it with the forklift because they don't have docks. So that's cool. It, that's how it works. But uh, from here, I go back down to Edmonton, which is about another three and a half, four hours south, southeast. We pick up a load that's going to Corinth, Mississippi. And we got to deliver that next Wednesday, which is going to give me time to reset once I get down there. Because once I get there, I'm pretty much going to be out of hours on my 70. And... Uh, we're gonna reset our hours, we're gonna deliver Wednesday, 8 a.m. And then we'll have a reload, I guess, Wednesday or Thursday, probably out of Georgia, I'm thinking. And uh, we'll see where we go from there, but we'll have a full week of legal work available to us, 70 hours, so uh, th that'll work out just perfect. Mississippi, woo! That's awesome, that is awesome.
Okay, let's go deliver this freight. We're going to end off this vlog after that, and then we'll start tomorrow's vlog where we begin our journey south. Should be fun. So my windshield was once again attacked yesterday evening. I haven't had a chance to uh, recover yet. But here we go. You have 13 hours and zero minutes of remaining drive time. Absolutely. So we're going to turn left, right where that car is going over there. So we're going to turn right, then we're going to turn left. First we're going to stop. kind of wide and we're going to stop again and we're going to turn left I'm pulling this big long trailer behind me it's kind of inconvenient sometimes but I'm not going to lie it's a lot of fun not for everyone else on the road because I'm big I'm slow I get in the way but I'm having fun. There we go. Okay. So this is a small town up here in, uh, what I'd say, north central Alberta. We're about halfway up towards the territories, and you could definitely tell just by how much sunlight they get. I know I talk about this a lot, but I find it fascinating how the daylight hours change. I was outside at one in the morning taking diesel for a walk, and this the sun had barely gone down. It was just barely below the horizon. It was like twilight at one in the morning. It's crazy. Just excuse all the bugs in front of you there. Uh, not much I can do about it. There's a mosquito flying around in front of you there too. You see that guy? You guys wanna whack him if you can? Just gotta go to the other side of town, drop off this crate and uh, that'll be that. Be on our way to Mississippi. If you didn't know what a northern town looked like in uh, Canada, here you go. Alberta's got a lot of really nice, uh, a lot of really nice northern towns. Alberta's just a beautiful place. I mean, it's Manitoba. I live there, so it's by default my favorite, obviously. But just the southeast corner, I like the southeast corner. I like all of Alberta, top to bottom, east to west. Alberta is beautiful. And I agree with a lot of the things they believe here. <laughs> this is sort of like the Texas of Canada. So naturally, I like it. You are a good weasel. Fantastic weasel. The best weasel. Absolutely. Don't be shy, buddy. Don't be shy. Take a compliment, man. Take a compliment. Some of you have asked what the belly box is for. That's to put more stuff in. This is a lot faster with two hands, but... There she is, right at the back, ready for him. Other than that, she's all empty. Oh, this one's a little tight. It's hard to, hard to get in there sometimes. There we go. That holds it in place. We're ready to rock. So thanks for watching and hanging out with me, everybody. Tomorrow's another day. I hope to see you here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Anything to say, Diesel? Anything to add? Anything at all? I'm a widow shy, man. Not a camera guy. Anything? Anything? You all smell fantastic. Thank you. And that's a banana. I like bananas. <laughs>